Hi friends. We're just finishing up the element of color. We finished that up last week and it's been a fun month learning all about color. And we've learned so many great things about color. Warm and cool colors, primary colors, secondary colors, how to mix colors. It's been so much fun. Now we're gonna start a new month and a new element of art. This month in art, we'll be talking about the element of texture. Texture is a really fun element. We're gonna learn a lot of good things about it and we're gonna learn how to use it in art. So come with me, let's learn a little bit about texture. Okay friends, here's our poster about texture, the element of texture. Let's come a little closer and see what it says. Texture is the feel or look of the surface. Rough, smooth, grainy, lumpy, etc. Textures can be actual or implied. Texture can add visual interest and variety to a piece of art. So let's take a look at this statue. This statue right here that looks all bumpy and lumpy is actual texture. It means, actual texture means that the artwork has a texture that can be felt with the hands. You can actually feel that it's bumpy with your hands. Now take a look at this rabbit right here. This rabbit is implied texture. It means it's illusionary. It appears to have a texture, but in reality, it is still smooth to the touch. That rabbit looks fluffy and soft and furry, but if we touch it, it's just a painting of a rabbit. It's just a picture and it's smooth because it's on paper, so it's not rough. And if we actually touched the real painting of the rabbit, it would probably be smooth. But if we touched this, if this was real in our classroom and we touched it, what do you think it'd feel like, this statue right here? Yeah, it'd probably feel really bumpy and scratchy. So some works of art, have both some pieces of art such as this self-portrait by Vincent van Gogh implies both actual and implied texture in this example he used thick paint called impasto that can be felt so when he painted this picture of himself his paint was so thick it was like toothpaste he squeezed it out of a tube and then he painted it so it actually dried hard and bumpy and then he has implied texture because it looks like his hair is slick and smooth back. So he has both implied and actual texture. All right, friends, we're going to make some texture projects. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get to it. Okay, friends, for this project, you get to choose your leaf. If you want this leaf that's on yellow or this leaf that's on orange. Then we're going to have a couple sticker leaf, pretty leaf stickers that you get to use. And the other thing we're gonna use is these watercolor oil pastels. All right, so I'm gonna try this yellow. And one more really fun thing that we're gonna use for this project because we're learning about textures is I have these really cool black plastic bumpy things. And these things are called texture plates. And they're just to make texture. And I'm gonna show you how to use these. They're super fun. So you get to pick one of these that you want to use. And I think I'll just use this one that I was showing you guys. And then what you're going to do is put this on your table, on your table, then put your paper over it and hold your paper so it doesn't slide around, like kind of push it down with one hand. Hold it down, take an oil pastel, lay it on its side like it fell over. So it's on its side. Then you're gonna push it over your paper. And guess what, friends? The texture underneath is going to show up on your leaf. Make sure you hold it so it doesn't slide around. Even if it slides around, it will still make really cool textures. So I did that one and I'm gonna get another color. I'm gonna put light orange. You can do it with all the colors if you want. Maybe some red. I like doing multiple colors. 
See those cool textures that you made from the texture plate underneath? So what, this is called a rubbing. What is it called, friends? A rubbing. And you can do this with real leaves from the tree. You can go get a leaf off a tree, you can put it under your paper and then scribble over the top of it and you'll be able to see the leaf. So see how this made the same pattern on top of the paper as was on the texture plate. Cause it's bumpy and we did a rubbing. We rubbed the pastel over it. So now I have this pretty texture on my leaf. And the next thing we're gonna do to add texture, one way you can add texture is by doing a rubbing. Another way you can add texture is by gluing or sticking things onto your paper. So you add some texture to it. So you guys can pick out of this bucket, you can pick three leaves. How many friends? Three. And you can only pick one that's shiny and glittery. You can have one glittery leaf and two plain leaves that aren't glittery. But all together, that's three. One glittery, two plain. All right, friends, so i am decided I'm going to pick this red glittery leaf to put on my leaf. And I think this orange one and probably this green one. And then you can put them anywhere you want on here. You just peel the white part off. And then this is going to be sticky and you can stick it right on and it's adding, feel what this feels like. I want you to think about how this feels where you did the rubbing and I felt this and it feels waxy. Kind of almost a little bit sticky. But that's kind of how oil pastels feel. This that I just put on, super soft and smooth and a little bit squishy. I love foam, foam leaves. Peel this one off. Okay, friends, once you're done sticking your leaves on, you can feel them and feel the different textures. Ooh, this feels different too. When you're all done coloring with the texture plates and putting your stickers on, then you can cut it out. It's a little bit tricky to cut around this stem. So if you wanna cut the stem off, that's perfectly fine. too hard to cut around this little stem you can just cut it off because it is kind of hard to cut around still looks good right okay friends there you have it our beautiful textured fall leaf don't forget to put your name on it i want to put your name on the back then you can take it home and enjoy it for the rest of fall if you'd like to add more detail to your leaves you can take a pastel and draw these little lines on to add some detail like I did over here and over here. So you can make it as fancy as you'd like. Hope you guys have fun. See you again next time.